Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. <laughs> Tom Tome joins the Tarzan Gregory Safari and agrees to proceed with them to their common goal to Mbaka and the forbidden city of Asher under the leadership of the ape man. Tarzan and his friends are searching for Helen Gregory's brother, Brian, while Tome is after the legendary gem of the Hesiharians, the father of diamonds. Helen vanishes mysteriously, and Tarzan, leaving the expedition to proceed under Tome and Darno, goes in search of her. On the trail, Larson stumbles into what appears to be a man-built causeway, and Darno finds, scratched on the wall, words printed in English. Look, a word in English. L-A-L-A-H. Nella. But this cannot be English. I have never heard that word before. A moment, Darno. Let me look at it. Ah, look at this. Examine it closely. What? I can make nothing of it. It looks like torn at the breast, like a word written upside down. Exactly. You see how the letter E is reversed and the L inverted? It is the word Helen. No, then, no, you are right. Then she must have been here in this causeway. Obviously, my friend. See here, following the word Helen, another word. Captive, also inverted. And a mark which we may assume to be an arrow pointing in that direction. But why are the two words written upside down? Yes, I cannot understand Place that. your back to the wall and scratch the word Helen with your fingernail. You will write upside down. Of course. Then, my petite Helen is a prisoner. But of whom? If we knew that. Yes, Wolf, if we knew that. Well, what we been going to do now? Follow this tunnel in here or go to the jungle? I would say follow the causeway. It is wide enough to take the entire safari. It will save us cutting our way through the jungle. Yeah, and with the torches we can see fast enough. That's a good idea. Bien, then we shall go up and start the natives into the causeway. Come, Wolf. We will all go up, Dono. I anticipate trouble with the Mbuli and the Bellers. Trouble? A book what? Yeah, sure, I do too. Those fellas been all right out in the open. But down here, I don't know. We will soon find that out. Come, Darno. Uh, be careful of these steps, my guy. Hey, Umpuli, come here. Yes, Bonda. Yes. Yes, Bonda, come. Bonda, Larson, come back. Shatan, they no catch him? <laughs> yes, Umpuli. There ain't no shatani down there. No tambi took first. Look, we go this way, Mbuli. No more cut trail. Go plenty fast. Where Bona Dano go? We go to Big Hole, along Big Road down there. No, no can do. Watamishi gonga tapika and devil hole. Get sick. That place bad for Watamishi. Plenty taboo. There is no shatani. Not catch our we devil. Not there, Mbuli. We go. You come along us? No can do. Plenty taboo along that place. What a mission no go, Mbuli no go. But we pay double pay some bully. You go now, eh? No go. This place taboo. That place taboo. Mbuli, now what a mission no go no more. All country here, plenty taboo. But if we stay topside and cut trail, you go there. No eh? more go. No can do. 
all this place taboo for black boys. You see, Tano, it is useless. No argument will persuade them. Whether we follow the causeway or continue to cut trail, we must go on without our bearers. Uh, those black rascals would rather die on the spot than break one of their hidden taboos. If I had been allowed to use the fifth, There maybe... will be no whipping wolf. If they will not go, they will not go. And flogging them will not help matters. On the contrary, they would very likely turn on us. Yeah, sure, that's right. Well, then we camp right here, huh? And uh, wait for Tarzan to come back, if he does. No, no, we will go on. My petite Elaine has been taken through that causeway. We must follow. We may even find her in there. We must be somewhere near to Invaka. Perhaps even to Ashir. We know Ellen is alive. We can go on much more quickly with the natives. Alors, what do you say, Lazon? Well, he was hired for the trip. In and out. We ain't in yet. Bon, bon. And you? What? Uh, Marco said it. We can make better time without the natives. Very well. And you and Larson have the supplies brought here. We will go over them and make up individual packs of absolute necessities. Throughout the remainder of the day, Leno, Tome, Wolf, and Larson sought over bales, bundles, and boxes, using here, rejecting there. Only such bare necessities as are absolutely essential to their journey are selected and stacked near the opening to the causeway. Well, there we been, Lieutenant. Our supplies for the rest of the trip. Ah, they won't take us far. They will take us as far as necessary. I don't like the tone of voice you say that in. Just what do you mean? When these things have given up, we will no longer need supplies of any kind. Exactly, Magra. Either we shall be in our share or dead. But according to the map, we are very near to Mbaka. Yes, Darno. To Mbaka is a mountain. It is not a share. Well, Larson, you and Wolf take individual packs of this. Let Magra's pack be light, Larson. You may add the extra weight to mine. Yeah, sure. Well, we better get busy, Wolf. Mbuli! Aya! Twente Tetu! Here, You are positive you no more go along this safari, Mbuli? Mbuli, now what the mission no can do. This place plenty taboo. Bien, bien. You see all this chekula? You take. You go back long bonga. You give this chit paper to big Franz Wai Buana. He give Mbuli Pesa. Can do, Buana. You no come along what the mission? No, we go on. This chit paper tell French commissioner where we go. We are ready, Lieutenant Dano. Come, Dano. Nande Zako Mbuli. Mbuli, Nande Zako Buana. That place had big taboo. Much taboo. Bien. Uh, Magra, here. Give me your hand on these steps. Well, Tom, uh, we are all ready to go on. We will each carry a torch and proceed as far as possible before making camp. I tell you, this been a spooky place. Maybe those natives ain't been so dumb. You know Africa better than that, Larson. If we listen to every native superstition, we would never leave the coast. By the way, have you noticed the rock, Tom? A mass of tangled roots, vines, and creepers? Those things must have been growing there for centuries. Yeah, yeah. Well, this ditch is pretty deep. All of uh, 20 feet, I would say. I wonder where the other end comes out, uh, back there. This was undoubtedly a canal at one time. Where the water it carried came from, I have no idea. It probably emptied into that river we crossed eight or ten days ago. Just look at those huge granite blocks in these walls. Where could they have come from? Nom da nom da nom! Magra, that is not a wall. There is none on the other side. This must have been... must have been a wharf where some large ships were docked. Look up there, that heavy iron ring. Donovetta, you're right. But that ring is stone, not iron. Well, look how those blocks fit together. No cement, no, no nothing to hold them together. And see up there, ain't that the watermark? Here is the end of the wall. With steps carved into the stone, like those we saw coming back there. Hey, the canal makes a turn, Hart. Maybe we got the camp, Hart. No, we go on, unless Margaret is there. Oh, no, no, let us continue. Look out, Hart. Some rocks and dirt have caved in. 
Fagy, look at that on that big rock. It's some kind of a hidden shrine. Bring those torches closer. Look here, Dono. These carvings and hieroglyphs. No, the milchian. They are ugly enough. They look like death heads. Skulls. Carved in the stone. Oh, I do not like them. They are gruesome. Come away. Ach, I don't like them either. Look how those empty eye sockets stare at us. Fui, Teufel. Eh? They make me feel like someone was watching. Perhaps someone is watching us, Wolf. I have had the feeling for some time. Sacre, and I too, but I did not wish to mention it because of... Because of me, Lieutenant? Oh, you are all acting like little boys, frightened by what their imagination places in dark corners. Brave little Magra. Nevertheless, remain close to Lieutenant Darno or myself. I do not wish to see you vanish in thin air. The tunnel straightens out again up there. And by ye, that's, that's light way up there in front. Hurry up, I think we been come to the end of this thing pretty soon. You see light? We, we told me that is all. But it cannot be daylight. It was just beginning to get dusk when we entered the causeway. It is probably moonlight. I think Larson is right. We have reached the end of the causeway or some sort of opening. Well, I won't be sorry to get out of this hole. The skulls watch every move you make. Pull yourself together, Wolf. Those things are merely age-old carvings placed there by a long-forgotten race. Aye, 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 I know. But whatever they are, I don't like them. They, they, they look to me like, like a warning. I, I feel like they were swallowing us. All hieroglyphs look practically the same to me, Tom, but those with the carvings of those horrible faces. Do you suppose they bear any relation whatsoever to the ones, to the ones we first found? I, I cannot say, Dono. I made a copy of the first ones we found. But you did not copy these others. No. No, to tell you the truth, these faces were not agreeable to me either. I was as anxious to leave them behind as our friend Wolf was. Oh, well, yeah, at the, at the Naval Academy, I made a study of some of the more ancient languages, Egyptian and some others. I uh, said, dear, the spoken tongue. I did not get so far with the hieroglyphs. Uh, I wish now that I had devoted more time to that study. Uh, it is an interesting subject. Uh, but let us go on. Larson is quite some distance ahead. He has perhaps found the opening. Marco! Yeah, sure, Lieutenant. Have you reached the end of the causeway? Hey, Ben, pretty near. 